hello seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel my darling it's always a blessing to have you right back here today's reading is for aries aries it is your day to shine my darling please go ahead and shine bright like a diamond also please make a friendly note that if the reading does not resonate to your present situation please do not get hurt offended or even in your feelings it only simply means that today's reading here is not for you okay but if you come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to the channel, please go, please go ahead and subscribe and turn the post notification on so that way you will always be the first to be notified each and every single time that I upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow, y'all, and trust me, that video will also grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and support that you show. I see the love, y'all, and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Now, please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. But before I get into the reading, a prayer is a muscle. I'm going to go ahead and get into a quick prayer for y'all and myself. Just for clarity and for messages to come through. Wait a minute, y'all. I think I saw a card that does not belong in this deck. I know I've seen it. I know I've seen it, y'all. I know I've seen it. It's hiding somewhere. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. I know I've seen a, a card that's not supposed to be in this deck. One second. It's going to come through. Or maybe it just wants to stay there, so it needs to come through. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, there's one right here. There you go. One. There you go. Two. Two. Not supposed to be in the deck. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and um get into a prayer. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send on your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the seekers for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. All right, y'all. So this is a general one, okay? It could go in the reverse. It could even go for the cross watchers who are watching. Now, take whatever resonates and whatever that does not, just leave it at the back door, okay? Um, it's okay. You can always come back because I do upload at least three videos every single day. For some of you, just need a personal reading. If you need a personal reading with me, the information on how to connect with me will be in the description part of this video. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and post some messages here, y'all. And then I'm going to get some clarity from those cards. And the deck that I'm using is the Angel Among Us deck. The angels among us. Because I noticed that a lot of people asking me. A lot of other, uh, other tarot readers are asking me about the decks that I use. This one is the angels among us deck. Okay. And you can find this on Amazon. And I believe it is uh, about 20 bucks. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get into your reading here. Messages, please, angels. Messages for Aries. What are the messages that you want me to share here with Aries, please? Okay. All right. All right, I'm getting a uh, spiritual power here. For some of you, just get, get, to get grounded with your spiritual power. You have a spiritual power in you is what I'm feeling here. For some of you, have not touched that spiritual power in a very, very long time. Your wisdom is there, but you're not using your wisdom. You're not using your wisdom towards the situation. I see a situation coming in here, okay? Uh, something is very sacred right now is what I'm feeling here. Um, I feel like someone is just not using their spiritual connection, their spiritual power here. You're not using it. Why am I feeling like someone is not using their spiritual connection with God? This situation is calling for you to use your wisdom here, okay? The passion is coming through here. 
Um, your growth is coming through here. I feel the fire has been lost. Um, the relationship, I feel someone, somebody's really feeling like the power is not there anymore. The, the fire that used to be in the relationship is definitely not there anymore. But I do feel growth coming in towards you. Listen, you might feel right now that you're not um, in, the, in the space or in the place that you want to be. But let me tell you something. Your relationship may not be going in the direct path that you would hope it to be. But I do see growth coming towards you. That's why right now it is so critical for some of you, Aries, to reach out and touch your power. Because your power has been, effect, has, has been affected by what you have been going through. And it's also messing with your growth. Because... You're supposed to be a million steps ahead of where you at right now, but your growth has been crazily affected by your some of your emotions and not connecting with your spiritual power. Joy is coming through. Okay, I see joy coming through here. I also see radiance coming in here, and I also see inspiration here in this card. Look at that, y'all! Inspirations coming through. All right. Because your joy is what you need. You kind of lost focus on the main thing that you need to be focused on right now. You're not really connecting to your spiritual power. You're not really finding the passion that you once had in your relationship, in your finances. The fire is not there. You don't feel like you want to do shit anymore. You just feel like, okay, I'm about to give up. I'm about to just stay in this dark place. Listen, you cannot stay in this dark place, okay? You got to tap into your wisdom here. And the time is now. Look at that. Wisdom, okay? Your wisdom time is now, okay? Um, I'm getting here. You sound like you record everything. Start making plans for the future. Start writing these things down. Some of you need a journal, okay? Uh, maybe you need to just write things, what you need to do, where you see yourself in 10 years, 5 years, you know what I'm saying? 1 year. Start to document things. And and I feel like for some of you, you probably do need to document things because at least you will document the things that your person is doing to you or people around you in your circle is doing to you that is not discerning of your spirit. And you'll realize that these people ain't shit, okay? And it's time to like clean the energy. Know what I'm saying? Now, it let me have some clarity, please. Clarity on number 16. Clarity on number 20. Clarity on number 9. And clarity on number 34. Let me have some clarity here, please. 16, 20, 9, and 34. 16, 20, 9, and 34, please. Clarity, please. 16, 20, 9, and 34. Okay. Yep, there's definitely a loss here. Y'all. There's definitely a loss, some kind of a sadness that's coming through. In the confirmation number 16 here, someone is filled with regrets here. I see regrets coming in here. I see someone is very bitter. Someone's very bitter because it, um, this bitterness is causing someone to be very frustrated as well i see frustration coming in i see there's an issue there's a situation in around you it's, it's calling for you to tap into your spiritual power here and it's connecting you to the five of cups here as well now i'm getting the queen of swords here my uh, for my connection with number 20 here the fire the passion the growth within you someone wants to talk okay Someone wants to talk. Someone wants to fix conflicts, right? Someone wants to make amends is what I'm feeling here. Someone wants to move on here in the Queen of Swords. Now, I'm also getting the Knight of Cups here with the number nine, all right? The number nine is coming through with joy and it's coming through with radiance, all right? It's inspiration, but it's also telling me here that there's a warrior inside of you, okay? And you need to tap into that warrior energy. And that warrior energy will help you to find your spiritual power, your spiritual guide, your spiritual emotions and feelings that is in with is in with you, okay? Now I see 
um, you being confident here. And I see you, um, for some of you, being very emotional at times. But I do see somewhat experience within you as well, all right? But you have to find your warrior side of you and tap into your spiritual power is what I'm seeing here. The number 34, okay, is let me know for my confirmation that the, the, the aramid here in the reverse is telling me that you're feeling lonely sometimes, okay? You're feeling lonely. Maybe someone is not there the way they should be there for you is what I'm feeling. You're feeling isolated sometimes, all right? Isolation is chipping in. You don't want to mingle with the crowd. You just want to be by yourself, lock yourself in a dark place and just sob, sob, and sob, and sob. And talk about your person not doing this and they not doing that and this is not happening for you. But I feel for some of you, it's time that you find your inner self. It's time that you tap into your spiritual power. Once you start tapping into your spiritual power, you will achieve great things. The loneliness will go away in the, in the hermit here in the reverse. Isolation will disappear. It will be no longer here in the reverse. Extreme withdrawal will be here no longer in the hermit here being in the reverse. And also paranoia. For some of you are paranoid as hell. You'll be hearing things that ain't even there. Seeing things that ain't even there. All because you're not tapping into your spiritual power. I'm getting the, the seven of cups here. The eight of wands here, okay? Wow. In the back of the deck here, in your present, I'm getting the justice card. The justice card did show up here in the reverse, y'all, okay? I'm feeling dishonesty coming in towards you, all right? I'm also seeing some kind of injustice. Someone, it wasn't fair. Whatever had happened, it was not fair on your part, all right? Someone maybe took the praise for something that they did wrong to you. Injustice, okay? This person was nothing but a damn hypocrite is what I'm feeling here because they abused their power against you. A bad decision might have been made. This bad decision might have been made on your part. This bad decision might have been on their part, okay? But I do see complications coming from the justice card here, being in the reverse in your present. I'm also getting the moon card, all right? Let me know as well, Confirm, confirming with the justice card that there was definitely secrets here and a secret might have been revealed because I do see someone because of this particular secret that was revealed, someone is now presently having trouble sleeping, all right? Now, I feel like you might have been side shadow because you never saw this shit coming, okay? You never saw this coming. That's only because if you had tapped into your spiritual power, you would have seen it coming from a mile away, okay? It is so important for you um, to tap into your spiritual power, okay? Your spiritual power, because something is shadowing your judgment here. Something is playing a part and shadowing your judgment here, right? In your present, I'm also getting the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is telling me that teamwork is what you will need, okay? I do see uh, teamwork coming in here, all right? Creation, contribution, project, Tapping into your spiritual power. I do see you, some, of, some of you writing. Writing a book. Wisdom is coming through here. All right? Start documenting. And that is confirming that this to me in the three of pentacles here. Okay? It's going to be worth your while. Okay? It's going to be worth your while. It's time that you tap into your spiritual power. Let's tap into our spiritual power starting now. And that is your reading for today, um, Aries. I hope it did resonate with you. If it did, please um, just listen. Whether it resonated or not, prayer is uh, so important. Just remember to pray uh, because it does work. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you will always find.